Yo, what is up, guys? This is David Huang coming at you from SupplementSuperhero.com, and today I'm going to be talking about three ways to supplement omega-3 fatty acids into your diet. Um, so before I get into it, um, I'm covering this topic because I saw this uh, in this book I'm reading right now, Body Competence. If you're interested in the book, I've got a link in the description below. Uh, it's a pretty good book that um, I'm really enjoying so far. Definitely learning a lot about nutrition, exercise, so on and so forth. But uh, there was a particular section in the book where he talks about omega-3s. And I didn't really know. Um, and I learned a couple things about omega-3s. Omega-3s are something that I've supplemented like a lot like throughout the years. Like It's one of those supplements that I take every single day and I truly believe in. But... Um, he brought he brought a couple of bullet points to the table that I never really thought of before. So hopefully this can help you out, guys. And if you don't already know, uh, omega-3 fatty acid, uh, the reason why it's so important to supplement is because, one, it's got so many different health benefits. But two, it's an essential fatty acid, which means our body does not make it, which means we've got to get it from an external source like food or supplements. So you've got to get it from um, your diet. So that's why it's important. Um, so let's get into it. So he outlines three ways and three general tips to help uh, supplement omega-3s. Number one, and you could do a combination of these, but number one, you could eat a fatty fish at least three times per week. That's what he recommends. Uh, he recommends uh, salmon, preferably, because salmon is like very health, healthy for you. It's rich in omega-3s. It's also got a good amount of protein in it, which is awesome, and it tastes good. Okay, so number one, eat fatty fish three times per week. Number two, um, supplement the fish oil, and he recommends taking about 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams of fish oil. Now, I mean, that's his recommendation. I know this is something that might fluctuate from source to source. And uh, it also depends on our, your needs as well. If you're somebody who's exercising a lot, you're hitting the gym a lot, you're undergoing a lot of stress, you're putting your body under a lot of stress, you might need to take more. You might need to take upwards of 5,000 or more. Who knows, right? If you're not that active, maybe um, like 3,000 or less. So that just totally depends. So you kind of have to understand your own needs. Uh, but in terms of supplementation, he gives some interesting tips too, like um, one, avoiding clear bottles. So if you purchase omega-3 fish oil from the store and it's in a clear bottle, uh, you might want to potentially avoid it unless, unless you're really, really tight in finances and that's all you can afford, then that's understandable. Some fish oil is better than nothing. But basically, um, when uh, when it's in a clear oil, when it's not a clear, blah, 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 blah. when it's in a clear bottle, um, they say that light can get into the fish oil and that can affect its potency. Okay, and then also another thing he recommends is to prevent reflux because sometimes if you um, have a sensitive stomach or if you suffer from acid reflux. Uh, when you take fish oil, you end up burping a lot, and then when you burp, it smells like fish. Okay, so one tip, one interesting tip he recommends to prevent that is freezing the fish oil. By freezing the fish oil and then taking it, it helps to delay the digestion. So once that uh, digestion's delay, um, it helps to prevent the reflux from happening. And then last tip, number three, um, if fish oil is not your thing, if you don't like eating fish or you don't like taking fish oil, he does recommend a flaxseed. So taking about 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams of flaxseed could give you the fatty acids you need. And that's pretty interesting. That was something that's pretty new to me because uh, flaxseed is not something that I've really investigated that much. I haven't really looked into that much. But... So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And he gives a couple of recommendations about flaxseed. Is And there's a lot of different versions of flaxseed that you can get. It comes in a variety of forms. So he says with the oil gel caps, and the oil gel cap form, um, it doesn't cause reflux. Okay, So for those of you with a sensitive stomach, that could be a benefit to you. Um, you could also get it in the oil form. If you get it in 
uh, if you buy the flax oil, it's something that you can put into shakes or put into uh, like other types of drinks and mix in. And then also he says that um, you could eat it uh, whole or ground and it doesn't really matter, but you could eat it whole or ground and it could be added to like just about any meal topping. So mix it in with any meal and you're good to go. So again, those are the three tips for supplementing omega-3 fatty acids. Again, eating fish, taking about 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams of fish oil as a supplement itself, or taking 3,000 to 5,000 milligrams of flax seed. So hopefully this helped out guys uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section below i love hearing from you guys let me know do you agree do you disagree i have want to hear your thoughts and again if you're interested in getting the book you can get it on amazon.com less than 10 bucks definitely worth the read uh it's in the description below i've included a link to amazon thank you so much for watching guys as always take care and always remember to sup it up